Hi guys, my name is Sean Van Wilden. I'm a sophomore at Iowa State University, and today I will be talking about license plate recognition as part of my MATLAB Student Design Challenge entry. There are four main parts to my project. The first is to separate the input image into black or white pixels via a combination of binary thresholding and color approximation. Secondly, we will be figuring out where the letters in the image are by applying some filters and denoising algorithms. Next, we will turn the letters in the image to actual recognizable text using parallel computing to speed up the process. And lastly, we will be applying some machine learning algorithms to prevent future mistakes and to never make the same mistake twice. Our first step is binary thresholding using some color approximation. Traditional thresholding algorithms, such as the ones shown on the right, are very common in MATLAB, but are not the most suitable for determining the different colors in a license plate. Instead, we use color approximation to identify the color of the text and separate that from the other colors in the image, as shown. You can see that each pixel has been rounded to one of four values, orange, dark green, light green, and white, and that we have four resulting images. We use our next step filtering to determine which image is the best. The next step in my project is to do character detection and filtering. The first thing we do is apply a normalized denoising algorithm such as BW area open. We then can use BW morph to identify and eliminate thin lines such as the one next to the one in the before example. After that we can apply a statistical location filter to identify text height as a filter. We assume that the top of the text must be in the top half of the image, and that the bottom of the text must be in the bottom half of the image. We can also erase all non-text elements and identify the most likely color. Once we have applied our filters, we can do optical character recognition. In our case, we will be using something called template matching to do this. Each letter will be cut and resized to match our template, such as shown on the right. We do matrix multiplication to calculate the difference between our target image and the template, and we find the best match by sorting the residual values. We then use parallel computing to speed up the entire process by using four MATLAB workers to get a speed up of two and a half times. Computers are definitely not perfect, but luckily my function can learn from its mistakes. When mistakes are made, it simply adds the mistaken letter and the correct value to the template as another option. In this way, you can easily train an entire database within minutes. It takes less than two seconds per image, and in this way you can train with license plates from all 50 states and easily have a robust program to recognize all of them. There are several possible applications for license plate recognition. It would be very easy to add a couple simulink blocks to do real-time detection and recording. License plate recognition can obviously be used for parking meter enforcement, toll booths, security gates, parking garages, and so much more. Now you might say, aren't these already being used in all these places? And the answer is obviously a yes, but I think that the color approximation algorithms and also the easy and very fast machine learning algorithms will really go a long way to improve the accuracy and reliability and robustness of a license plate recognition system. Well guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I will be posting the code on the file exchange shortly, and I'll post the link in the description of the video. Feel free to comment with any questions you guys have below, and thank you for your time.